being able to celebrate with you um, as you finish the program here at Tennessee Tech. This is clearly an, an orth unorthodox way for us to, uh, to do this, and, uh, uh, but I'm sure that uh, either way, uh, I, I'm uh, uh, that uh, uh, that we'll share with you here in a moment. Uh, the other thing that I want to share with you is that, uh, of course, Dr. Kosa will be speaking um, this, uh, this afternoon. Uh, there's a video uh, farewell presentation that uh, will be shared with you, uh, as well as some awards and other things that we'll be doing um, this afternoon. Uh, this is being broadcast as well on YouTube, and so everything that is created here, everything that we're doing here this, uh, this afternoon will be saved there as well. So if you want to be able to share this with friends and family, you'll be able to do that. So without further ado, I think that I'm going to go ahead and, and start the program. Uh, I've got uh, a, a big lineup here for you. I believe that the department staff has shared with you uh, the, uh, the program for this afternoon. Uh, and so I am going to stop talking and uh, get us started with, uh, with today's ceremony. Computer science graduates, congratulations on earning your degree. Many of you are receiving a doctorate, and I know the years building up to this moment have been long and difficult at times, but you have contributed to your field and are now prepared for an amazing future. For those of you graduating with a master's degree, congratulations on, to you as well for completing your work and increasing your knowledge about your future work or academic pursuits. For those of you getting your bachelor's degree from tech, you have just joined a group of tech alumni around the world who are known for being the best prepared graduates anywhere. I know this is not the way we expected to meet the, to celebrate your degree, but I encourage you to live these moments to the fullest with celebration and hope. You have a degree from one of the finest computer science programs in the country. You are well prepared and you have passed the test you faced this semester. You have earned the right to call yourselves bold, fearless, and confident. Congratulations. I'm incredibly proud of you. Wings up. Hello, 2020 College of Engineering graduates. For those who don't know me, I'm Dr. Slater, Dean of the College of Engineering. I wish I could be speaking to you in person today, but as we all know, circumstances don't allow that. It's been a very trying end of the semester and a challenging way to end your senior year of college. We've all had various ranges of emotions in coping with this challenge, but the thing that you will remember is that you persevered. If I had been asked if I thought the university could transition to 100% online education in two weeks, I would have said absolutely not. I would have said that it's too much for the faculty I would have said that the students would lose focus, drift away, and get discouraged. But that's not what happened. Tennessee Tech, the College of Engineering, and especially the Department of Computer Science, stepped up with steadfast resolve. This includes the students, most of all. You toughed it out. You figured it out. You sucked it up. You made it happen. It's been a long and trying semester. Do you know what I haven't heard this entire time? I haven't heard a single complaint out of computer science. Not from the faculty, not from the students. This was a team effort and it was a team victory. 
You've proven yourself in a way no other graduating class has, and for that, you'll be legendary in Tennessee Tech history. I couldn't be prouder of you and hope you carry that pride with you, along with appropriate humility, throughout your life after graduation. I didn't say after you leave, because you never completely leave. You will always be Golden Eagles. Congratulations on your graduation and wings up. With that, I'm going to ask Martha Cosa to have a, uh, to take the stage and she's going to share some, some words with you. Thank you, Dr. Gennard, AKA Jerry. Um, congratulations everyone on your graduation. I would have rather been in uh, the Hooper Edlin Center today in person to see you and get some pictures taken and all that, but I'm glad, I'm thankful for Zoom, um, for the technology to allow us to do this. And I hope you're having a good day so far and that you're finished with all your stuff for the semester. Now I need to share my screen. Um, I've only been using Zoom officially since March the 30th, and that was the first day that we came back after spring break. I had been to several Zoom meetings, but I'd never run a Zoom meeting before, and now I've run a bunch. And um, on April the 4th, I had a virtual award ceremony with Ms. Um, Sharon Burlingame, retired from Pellissippi, and some representatives from NC WIT to recognize high school girls for their achievements and aspirations in the field of computing. And Dr. Siraj uh, spoke for a few minutes at that and introduced a guest speaker. So I need to share my screen. Um, and let me find PowerPoint here. Um, you have to be flexible these days. Uh, here we go. I'm nervous about this, even though I've had most of you in class before. Um, I still get nervous about big speeches, even though this is virtual and I've been talking to classes for 27 years. So now let's get this uh, screen shared and... Here we go. Can you see my screen, everyone? Let me know in the chat. This is a thing that I say these days. Okay, good. And also, I have a shirt on that says Virginia is for computer science lovers because Virginia is where I got my start in computer science. So anyways, here we go. And last semester, I had the great honor of being able to serve as the mace bearer for the fall 2019 graduation. And I got to carry the mace. And I was worried that I was going to drop it, but thankfully I didn't. My graduation mortar board tipped over several times. Thankfully it didn't fall off, but it was fun. I got to sit up on the stage uh, next to the provost and near the dean and I got to see the graduates in person. It was exciting. Usually when I go to graduation, I sit uh, in the faculty section. Occasionally I go incognito, but no matter what, I holler for the students because I'm excited uh, to see them graduate, especially the ones who struggled and persevered and they made it through. So today is your day. I hope that you're in enjoying it and I hope you get to come back for the real celebration if your circumstances uh, permit it. Okay, so that's me. Most of you know me, all right? And today I, um, so this is the third 
time that I have been a graduation speaker. The first time was in 1981, seventh grade graduation, June the 5th, 1981, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, Colonial Beach School, Colonial Beach, Virginia. And I got to give um, the valedictory address. And I was looking for that talk today. I'm a pack rat, as you know, it was painful when I had to move my stuff from 214 Bruner Hall to 240 Bruner Hall because I'd had 24 years and a half years worth of stuff in there and I'm a pack rat. And you can ask my husband about that. Um, and then I got to be in that nice office in Bruner with windows and only had that for three semesters before I had to pack again uh, to go to foundation. The packing again to go to foundation wasn't as bad, but anyways, um, so the first graduation was seventh grade graduation. Um, I actually had two graduations in 1986 because I did dual enrollment before dual enrollment was a thing. I got my undergraduate degree a month before I got my high school diploma in uh, May 1986, May 10th, 1986. I graduated from undergraduate school from Mary Washington College in Fredericksburg, Virginia. It used to be an all women's college. It used to be the woman's college for the University of Virginia and it became co-ed, but it was still mostly female students. And May the 10th was my graduation day from there. And that was exciting. And I have a graduation card, it's not dated. I don't know when it was, I know it was a long time ago, but it's from my grandma to me. And all it says is, I love you grandma on there. And she, she got to go to my undergraduate graduation and my PhD graduation. And my grandma grew up dirt poor in the country in Southwestern Virginia. And she was only able to go to school till the seventh grade, but she was a smart woman. And all five of her kids had uh, some form of uh, post-secondary education and her seven granddaughters all have college degrees and everything. And so that was really great when I was digging up stuff this morning for this. Sorry about that. Um, so I had a second graduation in 1986, my high school uh, graduation. And my class was really small. And this was a cutout from a newspaper from um, 1986, my classmates. I wish you could see it better. I wish I'd had time to scan it in. But I'm in the front row uh, right there, I'm pointing at myself. And there was an article about me in the paper because stuff was, I did stuff differently. Uh, I do, I've done stuff differently my whole life. And the title says, Mathematician Reverses Usual Graduation Order. And we talk about reversals of strings and palindromes uh, in class in Computer Science 2710 and 3710. And so, Anyways, this was a time to reminisce. Graduation, AKA commencement, is a time to look back and a time to look forward. And welcome everyone. I made word clouds uh, today of all the names that I got, first names. Um, and some people had two first names, so they got to show up twice, a bonus. And here are the graduate students, the master's and PhD students. I wish I'd thought to put doctor on the names of the uh, PhD graduates. I know that uh, one of them is uh, Dr. Ramesh and uh, one of them is Dr. A.H.M. Uh, Jacaria and one is uh, Dr. Sheikh uh, Rabiul. I hope I haven't missed any of the PhD students. Please uh, let me know. Um, Dr. Gennad, uh, did I get all the PhD graduates in the list? Yes, okay, thank you for the confirmation. Now, welcome to the undergraduate students. 
and uh, some of you took data science classes, and this is an example of a very simple uh, visualization. Uh, the most popular first name of our graduating students is Justin and then Jacob. And we've got several Logans and Adams and Jeffreys too uh, in here. And congratulations to everyone. The classes, the graduating classes are a lot bigger now than they used to be when I was a student at Tennessee Tech. Uh-oh, I forgot to turn my email off. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, now I love graduation but it always comes at a rough time of the year. It's a rough time of the year for all of us, students and faculty. So I like that little dog with the fire. I'll be, I've been putting out fires and I've got a few more to put out. And I know you had to put out some as well. So I could have included, I should have included all the faculty in there as well. End of semester grading. All right, um, the best thing about my being here for so long is getting to know the students. And some former students have actually become colleagues. Um, and this picture was taken in 2011 when I wish Dr. Siraj had been in this picture too. Maybe she took the picture, I don't remember. Uh, but this picture was taken at Fall Creek Falls uh, State Park uh, in preparation for the first Tennessee celebration of women in computing. And uh, this was Fong. Uh, she got a master's degree in ECE. And uh, Ms. Crockett confirms that Dr. Sir, she's pretty sure that Dr. Siraj took the picture. So uh, Fong uh, took a lot of computer science students e uh, classes, even though she was an ECE student. And uh, I enjoyed having her in class. And this is uh, Ms. Summer. Olmstead, who um, was one of my undergraduate uh, advisees, and she came back to school as a non-traditional student to finish uh, her degree. And then she stayed for a master's degree. So uh, Summer was one of my undergraduate advisees. And then when she worked on her master's degree, uh, she was a student of um, Dr. Sarajas, and she, I believe, has been working at TVA in Chattanooga for several years after finishing her master's degree. And you know where Ms. Crockett is. Uh, she's here. And uh, she was one of my undergraduate advisees during her junior and senior years at Tennessee Tech. And she worked in Cookville, then she worked in the library, uh, doing computer-related work uh, on the websites and all kinds of other stuff. And she started teaching for our department as an adjunct. And she decided that she liked teaching so much that she wanted to do that full time. And so she has been a lecturer in our department for a few years. And then that's me on the right. And on the my shirt there, um, it is, this was a shirt from a Women in Computing Conference and it's Charlie's Angels. And Charlie's Angels was a popular TV show in the 1970s when I was young. And it's been remade into movies, all right? I love going to graduation and I've gotten to be honors mentor for uh, several students through the years. And this is a picture of um, uh, Andrew Mayer who graduated six years ago with Dr. Rita Barnes on the right, uh, director of the honors program and me on the left at the honors graduation ceremony, which is held usually the night before the regular graduation. And I, I think they may be doing it virtually this year, okay? And this is a picture from 2017. Uh, some of you may know um, Charlie Hicks. Uh, he founded the, was a founder of the Functional Programming club while he was here and he loved programming languages. He liked chemistry a lot too. And when he graduated, he made plaques for Dr. Beauchard and me because he had several classes with both of us. And also I was Charlie's um, undergraduate advisor. And he wrote on here, object-oriented programming, computer science analysis. He burned it uh, with a wood burning pen. Computer science, analysis of algorithms, Dr. Kosa, automata theory, 
programming languages, ACM and ACMW. And I'll always treasure this. Hey, Mark, can you bring me your plaque? And read that to them too. You, I don't remember where it is. You don't remember where it is? I don't think. Okay. Well, if he finds it, we'll get it. That was just spur of the moment. Um, and moving to 2018, uh, this is me with uh, Ms. Katie Brown, who got her undergraduate degree from Tennessee Tech. And I had her in class when she was a freshman. And I was her undergraduate advisor until she switched with the, to the data science concentration. And then uh, Dr. Talbert became her advisor because she was planning to go to graduate school and work under him. And now uh, she is a PhD student in our department and she took this selfie. And I'm not used to selfies. Uh, that's why my eyebrows are up and things like that. I don't know that I'll ever get used to selfies. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, and um, then in uh, fall of uh, 2019, I got to go to the Gig City Elixir Conference in Chattanooga with several students, uh, Kadri Evans-Jones, uh, Tay Marshall, and Omari Smith. And uh, Kadri and Tay are working on their undergraduate degree still. Omari got his undergraduate degree from Tennessee Tech and is working on a master's degree. And one neat thing when we went to that conference, I saw several Tennessee Tech graduates, and they had gotten in involved in functional programming, and that was always a nice surprise to see students elsewhere. And uh, then last semester's graduation, the last graduation in the before coronavirus period, and uh, there's me. I borrowed Dr. Beauchart's uh, graduation robe because I bought the cheap robe, and uh, he went incognito. And this is uh, Will Westridge, who graduated with his undergraduate degree, and his older brother, Philip, who uh, did his undergraduate degree in Tennessee Tech. And I think he's very close to finishing his master's. I think Dr. Rogers uh, is his advisor uh, for that. So I love graduation time, getting to hang out with the students. And I'm glad that I at least get to hang out with you virtually. And there we go. And um, spring 2020, before we got kicked out of Bruner for the move to foundation, this is Tyler. Uh, one of the students graduating this semester. Is Tyler here today? No, oh, sorry. Well, we had good times chatting in the lounge in between uh, my office and Dr. Beauchart's office and Dr. Brown's office. Okay. And so anyways, congratulations to Tyler in, absent, in absentia. So I've talked a lot about the students because I'm excited and I'll give you a little bit of advice before I let you go. Uh, Do's and don'ts from Aunt Martha or Dr. Martha. You should always be true to yourself. Don't be a walking contradiction. You should always take care of yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, financially, etc. Be considerate of others. Follow the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Cherish your significant others, family, and that includes pets and your friends. Don't be a perfectionist. And this is something that is very hard for me. And a couple years ago, can you see my book? Let me know in the chat. Okay, it's called How to Be a Perfect, and it's got scratched out, an imperfectionist. And I need to go back and reread that some. So uh, it's a cool book. All right. Next, get out of your comfort zone. Uh, take some risks, some calculated risks. And I'm um, grateful uh, to Dr. Siraj 
for helping me do this some. She got me involved in some things that I never thought that I would be involved in, and they were good things. And uh, one of them was to organize a workshop for high school teachers. One of them was to organize the uh, first Tennessee uh, celebration of women in computing. And uh, Georgia Tech wanted to work with us on the Southeast one, and I did that twice. And she's evolved to uh, do the Women in Cybersecurity Conference. Um, number seven, and I've done eight things. Why? Because it's a power of two. And I should have numbered them 001, uh, 000 through 111, because you've got to start counting at zero in computer science. So number seven, make things, uh, make changes when needed. Have a plan B, a plan A, a plan C, dot, 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 up through Z. Originally, I thought I was going to be leaving the university when you were. As I had uh, taught for 27 years and then coronavirus struck and I wanted my last semester to be normal and it obviously wasn't and I'm afraid sometimes I don't like asking for things but I, I did and I was able to get my retirement postponed an exception to policy number 600 and something so make changes when needed and lastly Never stop learning new things, both non-technical and technical things, and read actual books too. I still prefer paper books. All right. Thank you very much for giving me this wonderful opportunity today. Uh, it was a big honor, and I hope it helps you some in your own way. And God bless everybody, and stay safe. And some memories from discrete math. Uh, from Wendy's bag from a long time ago, two to the eighth power. Your choices, do you want a topping or not on your burger? And lastly, always use logic. And I believe Blake, Eddie, uh, was the one who came to class one day with this shirt. And I thought that was so cool. And I did not know that logic was a rapper then because I'm getting old. And uh, Josh Schoonover, last fall in Foundations of Computer Science, always talked about the Clean Star and Mr. Clean, and he made a meme about that. Mr. Clean Star it was so cool. And uh, this semester, I think this was like March the 11th, uh, just before the last day of regular classes that I had on March 13th, we had a test in Foundations of Computer Science, and I made a context-free grammar. It's not a real good one because it has chain rules in it, but good luck, everyone. Good luck, the clean star of good luck. And I did give a small extra credit assignment on computing related memes and one student really went overboard and made 37. And so I'll leave you out with the mace again. And thank you everyone again for this great opportunity. Please keep in touch. <coughs> Congratulations again. Thank you. Okay. Hello, this is Dr. Talbert. Um, a number of you have signed up to participate in the Pledge of the Computing Professional. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, they'll, we'll, we'll describe it a little bit, but let me give you sort of an informal introduction to it. It, um, it is intended to mirror sort of the, the order of the engineer. It's, it's about professionalism. Uh, so it's, it's a pledge that, um, that you can choose to take and, and be um, um, a part of uh, this organization that promotes uh, responsible, uh, computing uh, professional behavior. Uh, so uh, I appreciate those of you who have uh, agreed to participate in this. The ceremony doesn't take long. Uh, normally, it is a sort of a call and response where uh, uh, someone like myself would be uh, leading you through a script and uh, you would have uh, a printed copy to follow along. I would say something, you would reply with something all today. I'll be reading the entire uh, program uh, for that, uh, be a little chaotic. 
to try to get uh, people to uh, respond over Zoom. Uh, but, um, and for those of you who are attending but did not uh, sign up to participate as part of the pledge to, to join in uh, the organization, uh, we will be having uh, another ceremony. We plan to have another ceremony this summer. So please let the departmental office know if you are interested in participating in that. Um, so without further ado, I will go ahead and, and begin reading uh, the, the, the program. It starts with a little bit of history and then goes into the pledge. Um, good afternoon. It is my privilege to welcome you to today's ceremony of the Pledge of the Computing Professional. The Tennessee Tech Chapter of the Pledge of the Computing Professional was established in 2015 as the 31st node in the organization and the first node in the state of Tennessee. In 2007, inspired by the example of the Order of the Engineer, individuals at Ohio Northern University and the University of South Florida created similar organizations for graduates of their respective com computing programs. After interest in such an organization grew at other institutions, the pledge of the computing professional was developed by an international team of 17 computing professionals. The organization held its first induction ceremonies in May, 2011. Through today's ceremony, we foster professional pride moral obligation, and ethical responsibility in all graduates of computing disciplines. The initiates who are participating here today uh, would normally stand and take this pledge. Um, obviously today that's not going to happen, but after this ceremony, uh, there will be no organizational meetings to attend. Uh, there's no dues to be paid. Uh, you are expected as members of the organization to keep your pledge to uphold and honor your chosen profession. The certificate and badge of the computing professional that each of the initiates will receive will serve as visible reminders of this pledge throughout their professional careers. The symbol of the pledge of the computing professional is uh, as a pen, it's uh, organized as a matrix with the word honor encoded in ASCII. The background of the matrix is black, the digits are in gold. The purpose of the symbol is to remind the inductee to always honor their profession through their actions. So I will now uh, read the pledge. Again, normally this would be a participatory uh, activity, uh, but uh, I will just read through uh, both parts today. I am a computing professional. My work as a computing professional affects people's lives, both now and into the future. As a result, I bear moral and ethical responsibilities to society. As a computing professional, I pledge to practice my profession with the highest level of integrity and competence. I shall always use my skills for the public good. I shall be honest about my limitations, continuously seeking to improve my skills through lifelong learning. I shall engage only in honorable and upstanding endeavors. By my actions, I pledge to honor my chosen profession. As the ceremony concludes, I wanna remind uh, you once again that as computing professionals, uh, you have accepted both responsibility and obligation. When you look at your certificate, please note that yours is the only signature on the certificate and that you have freely accepted the obligation on your own. An obligation that we accept ourselves is an obligation that we most faithfully honor. Um, if there's a problem when you get your certificate uh, with your name being misspelled, or if you lose your badge, uh, the Dean's office can work with you to find a replacement. So for those of you who um, have signed up for the pledge, I, I uh, appreciate uh, that you did that and, and I thank you. And uh, I, I hope you um, are, uh, faithful to honor the pledge and to uphold your uh, responsibility as a computing professional throughout your career.
Thank you, Doug. Uh, we're gonna take this time now to uh, share a video that was produced. The, the faculty um, shared some thoughts and then we're also going to be recognizing graduates uh, with this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that here. Dear students, we are sad that you're leaving, but we are all Dear students, we are sad that you're leaving, but we are also very happy that you are leaving and entering a new chapter of your life. We hope that all the happy moments that you made in this campus always puts a smile on your face and all the mistakes that you made here shines light on your path. Goodbye and best wishes for everything that is ahead of you. Take care. Hello dear students, congratulations. This is a big day for you. The day you are recognized for the immense hard work you have put in to achieve your degree. Today is your day and we are very proud of you. My best wishes to you all for the accomplished careers ahead. We as the department and the university are convinced that you will help the society heading to a better world. Your computing skills, knowledge, and experiences will add value to the organization you will work for. We are looking forward to hearing your success stories. Good luck and wings up. Hello graduates, congratulations. You have worked hard the last few years, gone through many ups and downs. And now you are you have a degree from computer science. You will go out to the real world and apply your knowledge and skill set that you have learned. I, I wish you best of luck, all the success in the world. And please remember that you have come this far with help from many other people, your parents, your relatives, your school teachers, your college uh, instructors. So remember that and uh, try to give back to the society and just don't work too hard. Also, there are other things besides computer science in your life and enjoy that. Congratulations again, good luck, thank you. Class of 2020, I congratulate you on your graduation, wish you success as you move on to a new stage in your life, and encourage you to always look for ways to make a positive difference with the opportunities that life presents you. Hello graduates, this is Akon Rahman from the Computer Science Department at Tennessee Tech. I want to say congratulations. I wish you all the best. I'm pretty sure that you all will be able to utilize your full potential wherever you end up with. Stay in touch and wings up. Let me first offer my congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm delighted to share this occasion with you and the fact that you are here despite all the hurdles makes it even more special. Regardless of where you'd be going next, it is a very exciting time in your life and I wish you all the success. Remember, the university has provided you with all the tools you need to succeed. Go out there, try new things, and you'll do just fine. Congratulations. Hello everyone. Today is an exciting day. 
You are graduating from Tennessee Tech. Congratulations with this great accomplishment. You made it. I think computer science is one of the best majors in the 21st century, and you definitely made the right choice. 70 years ago, very few people thought um, it would be possible to use personal computers in our daily life. 50 years ago, using a personal mobile phone and internet looked like a science fiction. And 20 years ago, very few people thought it's so easy to send and receive emails from a personal smartphone. But things change fast in modern life. And my advice to you, always update your knowledge and become an expert in one area. Don't forget your alma mater and know that you are always welcome here. I wish you success in all your future endeavors and wings up. Congratulations to all of you for this amazing accomplishment of graduating in computer science. I will miss you all and I hope you all will keep in touch with us. Let us know how you're doing. And I want to say for farewell, but I also want to leave you all with a challenge. Serve and encourage others. Be positive. Don't criticize, condemn, or complain about others. Smile. Take care of the weak. Be patient with everyone. Be thankful in all circumstances. Be a good listener. Encourage others to talk about themselves. Don't worry about being accepted by culture. And last, leave a legacy rather than a legend. Congratulations to the computer science class of 2020. Every year I'm impressed by the accomplishments of many of you. How are you able to tackle difficult problems and your incredible solutions to these problems? And this last semester has certainly been extreme when it comes to facing problems. So as you go out into the real world, remember three things. Find something you're passionate about. Make yourself invaluable to whomever you work for. And make a difference in this world. Again, congratulations. Congratulations to all of you. It's been an extremely difficult semester, especially for you, your final semester where you're supposed to be having lots of fun. It's been very hard, but you've persevered. As long as I've been teaching here, we've had a wonderful student body, and that goes for you guys as well. You've been great, and you will be missed. And even though for many of you, your formal education is now coming to an end, I hope that you will continue to want to experience new things, and of course, want to always continue learning. And that's especially important in technology. So I wish the best for all of you, no matter what you're gonna be doing now, whether that's the job market or graduate school, and just make sure that you listen to lots of technical death metal.
Congratulations to the class of 2020. We are so proud of you and everything that you have accomplished in your academic career. We know you will continue to make us proud in your future careers. Wings up. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Um, just wanted to take a moment to congratulate you on uh, graduating. Uh, you did it. Um, also, I wanted to say good luck on all your future endeavors. Um, and for those of you that I worked with personally, uh, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done uh, and let you know that we are going to miss you, all of you. Uh, so good luck and congratulations. Uh, and I know you all do great. Congratulations, class of 2020. The main highlight of my job in the computer science department is helping our students. I'm going to miss seeing your faces on campus. I wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Come back and visit. I love when our students come back and visit and tell me about their successes. Congratulations. As of 2020, I want to congratulate you on a job well done. You will always hold a special place in my heart as the first class that I got to meet when I came to Tennessee Tech. We've experienced a lot of ups and downs uh, from the growth of the program to experiencing the eclipse together back in 2017. And of course, now with tornadoes and pandemics, and what you have proven is that there is nothing that can stop you from being successful and from, from getting the job done. So with that, I want to leave you with a couple of words of encouragement. First of all, make sure that you find those things that are important to you. Find your passions and find those things that you value the most. Use those passions and those values to guide you as you make decisions and as you make your way in this world. So congratulations once again, and wings up. Thank you uh, to all the, uh, the faculty and, and staff that helped put together uh, those videos and uh, getting those submitted. And again, congratulations to all the, uh, all the students for finishing up your degrees. Uh, we have one last piece that we want to, to do here this afternoon, and we're going to recognize some of, uh, uh, some of the students and, and the, the work that was, uh, that was done while you were here. Uh, first up is uh, Dr. Talbert, who is going to be recognizing, um, uh, uh, sorry, Brendan Roberts. All right. Um, I am nominating, I've nominated Brendan Roberts for the 2019-2020 Outstanding Senior Award for the Computer Science Department. Brendan is completing his degree with a concentration in data science and is graduating uh, with honors with a current GPA of uh, 4.0. Brendan is a very well-rounded student, was active in the honors program, completing honors sections of Calculus II, Calculus-based Physics I in British literature. Additionally, he took an honors leadership development course. Personally, I taught him in uh, Foundations of Data Science, CSC 3220. I co-taught his honors colloquium course on the human brain and guided him in a directed studies course on uh, web, web scraping and data science. And I'm currently directing him in a research project along with one of my PhD students to incorporate uncertainty quantification to improve reinforcement learning when applied to having an artificial intelligence learn to play a video game. 
Brendan plans to take a job with TVA in Chattanooga after graduating this semester, and I believe he is a deserving recipient of the Outstanding Senior Award this year. Thank you, Dr. Talbert, and congratulations to Brendan Roberts. Next up is Dr. Alam in the Outstanding Teaching Assistant Award. Thank you, Dr. Ganan. Congratulations to all the new graduates. Now I am happy to nominate William Luke Lambert as the Outstanding Teaching Assistant. Lambert has been a graduate TA for the Object-Oriented Programming and Design course since fall 2018. He is an excellent and very dedicated TA who has a very good command on the topics that he teaches in the labs. He is also very helpful and resourceful for the students to solve any critical issues that they come across in doing their class or lab assignments. Lambert also voluntarily addresses students' issues on online platform such as Piazza very frequently, even outside his office hours. Students' feedback about him has always been very positive. Congratulations, Lambert, for winning this prestigious award through your hard work and passion. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Alam, and congratulations to Luke. Next up is, uh, is uh, Dr. Ismail, who is uh, 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 going to present Susie Jezerowski's award. Thank you, Dr. Ganon, and congratulations to all graduating students. So I have nominated Susie for this award for her paper title, Towards Image-Based Dark Rental Profiling and Analysis of Image Metadata and Image Hashing in Dark Web Marketplaces which is co-authored with me and Dr. Amberin Sirat. So the paper was accepted to appear in the proceedings of the sixth international workshop in security and privacy analytics in March, 2020. So Susan Jojowski is a CyberCorps SFS scholar and has successfully defended her thesis in fulfillment of requirements for a spring 2020 graduation. In addition to this published paper, Susie has just submitted a survey paper of 38 pages to ACM Computing Surveys, which has a journal impact factor of six. Furthermore, Susie is currently writing a journal paper as a final outcome of her thesis to be submitted to IEEE Transaction on Info Information Forensics and Security, which has a journal impact factor of four. So I didn't actually nominate Susie for a single paper, but rather for her research excellence. Susie is an excellent student and very smart researcher. She has done a tremendous job for a master's student and definitely deserves an eminence award. And I'm confident that Susie will have a bright future career. Congratulations, Susie. Thank you. Thank you, Mohammed, and congratulations again to Susie. Next up is Dr. Gupta, who is going to be uh, describing uh, the work by Andrew McDowell. Uh, thank you, Dr. Gunnar, and congratulations to all the graduating students. Uh, I am happy to nominate Andrew McDowell for the Masters of Science Best Paper Award. Uh, Andrew is an SFS scholar and a hardworking individual who has strong programming skills. He has recently published a paper in Cloud 2020 on deep learning-based malware analysis and cloud infrastructure as a service. Uh, he has strong interest in cloud security and is also in progress to write some more research papers in the domain. Uh, Andrew has the ability to work in groups and he has been graciously helping his peers in our research cohort. Uh, he plans to graduate in December, 2020. So congratulations to Andrew and keep working hard. Thank you. Great, thank you, Dr. Gupta. Finally up is Dr. Everly and he'll be uh, doing the presentation of the uh, award for Dr. Padel. Thank you, Dr. Ganad. Uh, Ramesh Padel successfully defended his dissertation and is graduating this semester with his PhD. His paper entitled, An Approach for Concept Drift Detection in a Graph Stream Using Discriminative Subgraphs was accepted in April to the ACM Transactions on Knowledge Discovery from Data Journal. The TKDD Journal is one of the premier journals in the field of data mining and analysis. TKDD publishes a wide range of research in the knowledge discovery 
and analysis of diverse forms of data. Google, Google Scholar ranks at number seven among all journals in this field, number 15 among all conferences and journals in this field, and number 44 among all of computer science. While there's not a ranking for graph-based knowledge discovery journals, this journal is considered among the top five of journals in this field. Again, congratulations, Dr. Ramesh Padel. And again, congratulations to everybody and congratulations to uh, the award winners. Uh, and finally, uh, this does conclude our ceremony and, uh, and certainly uh, this was not exactly the way that we wanted to go out, but I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm happy to have uh, been able to share this time with, with all of you. Uh, we know that as you go out into the workforce, as you go out in, into graduate school or whatever it is that uh, your path is going to bring you towards, uh, we know that you're going to do us proud. We know that you're going to represent Tennessee Tech. Uh, and so, uh, again, uh, thank you for, for joining us during this time uh, uh, for this past hour. I, I, I wish we could do something else, uh, but uh, certainly uh, this is... Uh, Th this was a joy to be able to put together anyway. So once again, congratulations to all of you and uh, uh, we, we hope to hear from all of you soon. Thank you.